Hey, uh, Bob is out there too. I don't know where you said Bob, but uh, I finally got this uh, problem child plugged in. I, I, I one handed it. Should have just got the son to do it. Uh, I, I, one of the things I hate to do, I got to do it for myself. But anyway, it come a time where you're going to need some help on something. No doubt about that. Good to hear you, boys. Uh, no, I didn't hear James this morning. I don't know what I'm chopping, breaking, or what this morning, but look like I'm transmitting. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get back out the way and listen. Uh, still here. We're going to go back up to the top of the road here. And uh, let me see. WDAQ is on the road here. Uh, WDHJFC Ben, 73 rounds. He checked out on I see that. I see that. All of a sudden, I looked up, and there he was. So <clears throat> we went too long for him. With that said, thank you, Ron. Thank you, we wish you 90 G8. Kilo 5 Tango Golf Flight Terry, 73 rounds. Kilo 5 Tango Golf Flight Terry. They're dropping like flies here. Kilo Echo 8, Zulu Oscar Bravo. Bob, 73 round, please. Roger, Roger. Good morning to everybody. And a 73 to everybody on the corn cob net here this morning. And uh, uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning uh, and more morning. So y'all have a good day. Back to you. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, thank you so much, Bob, for running. Can I call you Bob or you call by Robert? You call me Bob. Unless you're angry at me, then you call me Robert. Over. But don't, don't call you late for dinner, Roger. Roger, Roger. Very good. Thanks, everybody, for checking in with us. And uh, come on in any time. There's plenty of real life. And, uh, and we'll catch you. And have a great day. And stay safe, safe out there in 73. November 4th, Papa. November, November. Cecil, 73 round, please. Okay, we'll try this. C A C C R E Rolly. Get your hand out of the cookie jar. Come on in for a 73. Okay, here. I guess we're getting right down to the line here. Uh, <laughs> November 4th, Julia Tango. Julia, uh, Jim, 73 round. If you come in there. Okay, with that said, this is, yeah, this is the end of the list here, and this is Kilo Charlie 1, Charlie Tango Drama here, at the very tail end of our 73 round. I'm looking for a lot of check-ins and any leg takers. Come on in, please. Uh, WD9IGB, good morning. There was the neighborhood. Oh, my God. I Look heard that. that right I thought the same thing. Mr. WD9IGB. Are you heading? No, it's not Buckboard morning, is it? No, no. So what are you doing up so early? Well, you know, uh, I've kind of, I've kind of decided to turn over a new leaf, you know. But uh, anyway, hey, good to hear you this morning. CT1 uh, CTB, uh, their camping tugboat. Uh, <laughs> uh, WD9 IGB. Oh my goodness. Uh, we, I just, uh, you know, uh, I had a decision to make there a while ago between my nice breakfast that my wife made me or talking on the radio. So I went ahead and sat down and uh, tied on a feed bag over. Well, that was a wise choice. That was a very wise choice. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, it's good morning here, and uh, we're we're uh, we're doing fine. We've got carpet men in here putting in carpet in the living room, and uh, they'll be uh, they'll be back in here for day number two here in just a moment. So uh, we're going to sit in here and uh, yak on the radio while those guys do the work. So I got this. I think I got it figured out here. I hope. So uh, anyway, good morning, to Ron. Good morning to you, Joel, and uh, anyone else that's listening. There was another uh, comment out there. Uh, good morning uh, to everyone, and uh, Joel. I'll get out of here and let you wrap this thing up. Thanks for letting me squeak in the door there. Boy, I tell you, I, 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 it's a wonder I didn't get my fingers pinched in the door on this one. So, uh, anyway, uh, 73, and thanks a bunch, WD9IGB. Very good, very good, Mr. Ed. We don't call, we don't carry work with cops, so your, pi your fingers pinched around your own, kiddo. Anyway, 
Thanks for checking in this fine morning, Ned, and it would be nice to get some property in the living room. Now, now you can get in your recliner and lean back and you feel comfortable, Roger. Oh, boy, I could, hey, listen, I can do that on new carpet or worn-out carpet, over. Oh, uh, I, I was trying to be nice, Ed. I was trying to be nice. Uh, it's hard for you, isn't it? What's that? It's hard for me? I'm always nice. Okay. Well, that's great. We're <laughs> Everybody have a great day. And uh, again, Joel, thanks. WD9IGB. Roger, Roger. It, it, this is a different truth. I laugh with people. I don't laugh at people. And uh, it made my life a lot easier, you know? Less, less contusion. Anyway, you have a great day. Then be safe there, kid, and we'll catch you tomorrow for sure. Thank you with WD9IGB, Indiana's golden boy. Young man, we'll catch you later. With that said, this is Kilo Charlie One, Charlie Tango Brother here. I want to thank every all the relays, everybody that checked in this morning and contributed to this flight on 1029 of the year 2024. And I'm going to return this frequency back to radio amateur you. Everybody have a great day out there and be safe. This is Kilo Charlie One, Charlie Tango Bravo going to our team. 73 Joe. 73 Rod, thanks for all your help and reminders this morning, and I hope. I hope Miss Shelley's still on off and the kiddo. Have a great day and be safe. This is Killer Charlie One. Charlie Tango Bravo going to our team. Good morning, Mr. Ron. WD9 IGB. How in the world Good are you? Good morning, Good to hear from you, buddy. Oh, yeah. We always, you know, get in here when we can. But uh, anyway, man, you're 20 over. You're, uh, Smoking in here this morning must have uh, pretty good conditions there. Yeah, I thought uh, I mean, you got it jumped in there. I thought you were here to bring me a cup of coffee. <laughs> if I if I could, I would. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, real good. Well, we just uh, rolled out a little bit later this morning and uh, got an early breakfast and get out of the way of these guys. They should be in there in a minute. The father and son team. Uh, they've been putting carpet in and floor coverings for years around here, and uh, they do a great job. So we got them to come in and do our uh, carpets. Uh, let's see, the house is, uh, well, it was built in 1987. So uh, what, what is that, 36, 37 years, something like that, and original carpet. It was really starting to get some high traffic area, uh, worn places and so forth, so we decided to get that part uh, redone. And, uh, so it's uh, it's been working out really really well. Over. Well, good deal. I'm sure Miss Linda would appreciate having some nice new carpet. You know. Well, now you can now you can get in there and turn turn some music on, cut the rug, right? Oh yeah, you know. Well, I've cut the rug before, but uh, you know, any more? Uh, uh, phew, man. <laughs> It'd be kind of kind of rough for the old man to do anything like that. Roger. I always look forward to seeing you once again. Always a pleasure to hear you in the morning, and uh, always good to talk to you, buddy. Well, it's great to talk to you too, Ron, and uh, uh, you take care. And uh, did I hear? Did I hear uh, moments ago that Miss Shelley might be feeling bad or something? Yeah, we uh, we had gone uh, for a couple of weeks trip. We left on the eighth or ninth, and we stopped. We drove out into Colorado, drove up there, uh, went to the Vegas, and uh, we left Vegas on the, on the 13th, and uh, uh, lo and behold, we come down the 13th and tested positive, so, oh man, yeah, that stuff's still, uh, still around, we, uh, we went through that, we had a, uh, uh, my ex-father-in-law, which is fine, but passed away, 93 years old, 93 or 96. Anyway, he was way up there, and uh, so I felt obliged to uh, go uh, to the funeral home and so forth. Humongous crowd, and I mean a lot of old friends I hadn't seen for quite a while. Uh, and then uh, they had the funeral. I didn't go to the funeral, but then after the funeral, they had a 
They had a big meal up here at uh, one of the big farms right up the road here at their uh, restaurant, and uh, we went, and again, over 100 people in there, and uh, boy, I'm telling you, a couple of days later, I started feeling bad, and I picked that up from somebody, and uh, you know, when you get in those crowds of people, it seems like it spreads pretty quickly. Yeah, exactly. I figured she, uh, she spent a lot of time coming around from uh, slot machines and processes and stuff, so I figured she probably just sat down next to the hall with her. But uh, what do you do? Can't do anything about it, you know? So she, uh, she, she didn't get too bad. We were able to get the blue route in Arizona when, when we realized it, so we were able to still go to the Hoover Dam and the Grand Canyon and, uh, uh, we went back up in Colorado with uh, Pike Peak. We went to the uh, Four Corner, uh, uh, Four Corner Monument out there, you know, and we did all this stuff. And I even sent in a, a, a short visit to uh, HRO in Denver. Oh, that's cool, Ham Radio Outlet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you buy anything? Oh, yeah. I, I, I had to go find. I bought an AQ seven ten. Uh, I figured I'm going to use that. That sounds great. Yeah, that sounds real good. Well, that'll be fun. Well, uh, yeah, Hoover Dam. Been there a couple times. Boy, a great tour there. Uh, wonderful. Uh, I remember the first time I went out there, I did not realize. I was with some other fellows. We went out. We took a trip out Route 66. That was back. Gosh, that's been 30 years ago. But uh, I did not realize that the highway... That you could drive across the top of the dam. I just hadn't researched it, didn't know it. And I was shocked when I saw that. But boy, that really was a, uh, you know, the first time uh, was just really, uh, uh, really awe inspiring, actually. Over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we drove across there, went across it, and, you know, got a bunch of photos and stuff, and uh, worked out really well. You know, Grand Canyon, you know, that was nice. Uh, Right on 66, so you probably went 